Hello everyone, my name is Shady the TSP team at Nile.com. I uh, would like to welcome you today, uh, talking about, uh, we're going to be exploring more into uh, Microsoft uh, to, uh, Private Cloud 2012. And today in particular, we're going to be discussing uh, one of the most interesting uh, uh, products that uh, extends the functionalities of uh, System Center uh, family. And uh, in, in, in to be specific, uh, Savvision uh, provides the end user with a customized, uh, highly customizable uh, dashboards, uh, unusual uh, dashboards based on Operations Manager 2012. So it, it acts as a management pack for System Center, but it actually extends the monitoring capabilities of uh, system center uh, over to, to, to give the end user with uh, customized dashboards on, on his demand. So Savvision has so many features. I just collected, uh, highlighted some of the main features in it. Uh, it has a mobile console, so you can monitor uh, your data centers, uh, geographical uh, uh, data centers from your mobile consoles, uh, interactive maps, and basic maps as well, uh, application diagrams, customized application diagrams, and network topologies, as well as data center racks uh, diagrams as well. Uh, so the mobile console, as I said, uh, you, you can uh, display the status, the health status of each data center. In fact, you can drill down in each uh, data center. For example, if we have a problem in Austria, so you can drill down until the rack uh, or the server itself, the problem with the server itself. So you can easily move from one view to another. Application, diag application diagrams, and this is where you have the options of uh, creating a specific view uh, with a multi-tiered application uh, monitoring uh, so you can add your specific objects uh, that you want to monitor your objects that are uh, critical uh, in regards to your uh, business application and, and this comes really handy when it comes to uh, tailored application monitoring uh, so you want to monitor specific uh, objects in, in your application. Uh, the third thing is the network topologies. And uh, this is, of course, this is very similar to uh, the, the ones you have in Operations Manager. But with uh, drill down capabilities, uh, for example, you have building one, you can drill down in building one uh, from one view to another. You have uh, the options of changing the icons, you have the options of uh, creating the connections yourself between each uh, router or each switch. Uh, so so it's, it's really about customization when you're talking about uh, uh, network topologies. Uh, data center and racks, and this is uh, the option of creating uh, a view. And this view uh, contains a specific uh, number of hosts in your view so you can easily monitor which which host is uh, not not doing so well in your environment so you can uh, drill down in this uh, host and you can know the exact error in this host so this is very useful for monitoring and this is very useful for uh, finding out uh, what's what's the problem with your uh, infrastructure before there is really a problem so you can uh, Proactive monitoring. This is what we call proactive monitoring. And of course, the basic maps. And this basic maps, we're talking about uh, a picture, uh, simply a picture, background picture, where you have a map and you can pinpoint your data center uh, locations. And you can create uh, WAN collections, WAN connections between your uh, data centers together. And if you're talking about the one connection, how is it monitoring? It simply monitors the, uh, the router responsible for this one connection, if it's healthy or not. So if the router is not healthy, you will find uh, a warning or an error that there's a problem with the connection with your uh, data center. And as I said, again, you can also uh, click on any 
uh, data center in this map and you can drill down uh, to find the next view in, in, uh, in the next object and the interactive map these are very similar to the maps the basic maps but it's based on uh, Google Maps where you can place as well your uh, data centers uh, across uh, the geographical uh, distribution of your organization and you can monitor your uh, infrastructure uh, of course you can you you add you do add the objects that you want to monitor in each data center so we'll give you a brief uh, overview in our uh, lab environment and uh, how it works so let's start by logging to our uh, console Well, uh, Savision console or Savision Live Map console uh, sh sh should be installed on a machine uh, having uh, Operations Manager console or management server as well in order to integrate with the components inside uh, Operations Manager 2012. So this is uh, the view, the views inside uh, Live Maps. You can uh, recognize that these are the same uh, folders and the same uh, management packs uh, available uh, inside operations manager console and here is the objects the objects can be defined as application components devices or distributed application uh, distributed applications inside the devices you will have the types of devices that can be added to each device so we have uh, Windows Server uh, devices, we have Linux devices and we can easily uh, drag and drop to any view that we have uh, previously created or recently created. Uh, to create a view simply, it's very simple to add a new view, uh, a new view. well just right click on add and then click whether it's a business process or a dashboard or a map or intera interactive map as well and a view starts by a simple blank screen and then you can start by adding the objects inside your view whether you want to add a picture whether you want to add a specific uh, uh, background uh, this is highly customizable and you can create a connection between uh, these two entities for example we have added you have added a connection between these two entities and you can set the connection properties whether the type of this connection as well as the endpoint that you are going to be monitoring whether you're going to be monitoring a specific network card or uh, a specific uh, a virtual network card it depends in and here you can uh, view all the the views that you that you want to view but we can easily view these views from the operations manager console so this is the operations manager console and if we click on uh, some of the views that we have previously created you will find that this is uh, a simple uh, data center view or rack view where we have the f physical racks and the virtual racks and you may click on any of uh, these objects to find out more on the error you can also add a physical rack if you have for example a flex system in your environment so for, we have here the 40 gate and the blue coat everything is functioning well the uh, host itself is we're having a, war, a warning in this host so we can uh, click on the host to uh, explore more into the problem and of course you have uh, if you click on any uh, problem you will have uh, a summary of uh, of this problem and the probable causes uh, and the history of this problem as well so everything is the same uh, environment 
as in uh, operations manager uh, the only thing uh, different that is uh, the functionality is extended uh, for uh, specific views customized views as well if you click on the sites uh, Egypt sites you see that this is a background picture and we have uh, pinpointed uh, data center locations and if you double click on any uh, view on any uh, data center you can see that we can drill down to this view uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is the interactive map and an interactive map as we said in the presentation this is based on Google Maps uh, so in, in, in Dubai or UAE we have only one data center uh, available in uh, Egypt we have uh, around four data centers if we double click on them you'll find that you can uh, double click on it to find out uh, what's wrong with the with the machines what's wrong with the error and why is it critical so you can find that here we have a virtual machine that is not uh, functioning well and another virtual machine that's not functioning well and if you double click on it you will find uh, the error itself so this was uh, a brief uh, overview over uh, the functionalities of uh, Subvision Live Maps over uh, System Center Operation Manager. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate your time.